Well, an easy way to block out the neighbors or get a little more privacy is to install a slat wall fence. And so what we're going to do is cover up this 24 foot span with some 1x4 pressure treated slats and just get a little privacy on this outdoor space. Putting in a slat wall fence is a fairly simple DIY job that you can usually complete in a weekend. And when you start off your project, you have to decide whether you want to stain the stuff before it's up or after. And I'd always recommend staining your boards uh, before you put them up. It's much easier to get in those little nooks and crannies and the edges. And you can easily do this by setting up some saw horses outside, getting a couple of gloves, and uh, just going at the stain there. You just gotta estimate properly. Um, the next part of this is you need to make some spacer jigs. So you wanna have your slats evenly spaced and it's important to do that. And so what we use and we recommend is just using regular old lumber. This is a two by three. And you can see that I'm making a little T uh, jig and I'm gonna make enough so that I can put one between every slat going up the fence. And so just grab some screws, some scrap wood, slice it up, you can use whatever you want, but you just wanna make some sort of jig or spacer block so that you can use these for proper spacing. And you'll see later in the video why. Now, first thing after you have the board stained and they're dry is you're going to need to um, put the first row in. Now, you, in, in the space that we're building this, it's about uh, 24 feet long. And so we want to get that first row level and spaced properly. So you're going to need some clamps. You're going to need a spacer blocks and, of course, some screws and, and different things. And the way I would recommend doing this, you're, you're going to need a level as well. The way I recommend doing this is just put the one end clamped to the post and set it in place as close to where you think it's going to be done. And then go ahead and clamp your left side in, as you see here, I'm doing it in the video. To get the proper spacing, grab those spacer blocks we used before and go ahead and set one underneath the first row there and kind of tap down one side until it touches the spacer block. And then also make sure your left to right is exactly where you want it. The posts for this we spaced so that the eight foot long boards would land in the middle of the post so that your next row can go and butt up against it. You'll see later in the video how, that, how that's done. So put your spacer block in there and tap it down nice and level and put your clamp in as you can see in the video here. And then you'll wanna grab your level and your spacer block and move over to the opposite side to make sure this is as level as possible. Uh, you may need to adjust your clamp also, but it's very important to get this first row spaced properly and level because this is what is going to set the next row above it uh, at the right height and the right space, and also the rows left and right if you're adding more than an eight foot span. So take your time here, tap it, get it in place, and make sure that this set is all good to go. All right, as soon as you have your first row in, if you're moving and you're doing more than an eight foot wide section or you're moving uh, boards, go ahead and grab another set of clamps and uh, repeat the process for the next row. Now, this will be a little easier because you can use the end of the first board to help you with the next board. You can see here, I've placed a spacer block down at the bottom and I've clamped it on so I have something to rest on to. And then I've measured so that the slats are measured and properly spaced in the middle of the four by four post. And you can go ahead and secure that in there. And so once you put it in, it's just a matter of leveling the other side. It should be level with the spacer block that you put in. However, you do want to check it to make sure that it is level. And then um, if it's not level, you have to decide, do I want to match it with the spacer block? Or do I want to make it level? And that's really your decision. You have to match it with your eye. Um, but usually they'll be pretty close if you build your wall properly.
All right, you'll want to go ahead and secure these uh, uh, rails in with two screws on each end so that it doesn't uh, twist up on you. Uh, the wood has a tendency to twist. If you only put one in the middle, it'll, it'll not work so well. And then check your level, of course. You see this one is dead on, and we are ready to move to our next row if that's what your build will need. So in this one, you can see I've already put my spacer blocks in there. I just need to rest my eight foot board on top of them. Uh, screw it in there on the left hand side, check for level, screw it on the right hand side, and then the whole first row is going to be nice and straight, and I'm ready to go on to my second row, my third row, my fourth row, until I'm all finished up. Well, if you've taken your time with the first row and it's all nice and done, then everything after that is going to be pretty easy to do. So as you can see, I'm working my way across. I'm using the spacer blocks to maintain that equal spacing between every single row. I'm using uh, screws in the back and uh, you just take your time and that part goes pretty quickly. Now, this part here is very critical because with an eight foot long board, if this is what you're doing, you're going to have some sag in the middle and if you don't support that uh, eventually the wood in the middle will twist will warp it just won't look very nice so what we've done in this build is we've cut a two by four to the right height of the fence uh, slat area here you can see me install on it and we're going to clamp it so it doesn't extend past the top and i measured so it doesn't extend past the bottom so it's going to be in the right spot i've inserted the spacer blocks every other picket left and right, left and right, as you see here. And that is so that the spacing is maintained all the way across and up. And so there's no slack in the middle. So once this is accomplished and you have everything squared up, of course, you wanna make sure that your, um, your, your support post in the middle, as you can see here, I guess it's a one by four, your support in the middle is spaced left to right. Then go ahead and tap in a couple of screws in every board and you will be good to go. It's not necessary here to put in two screws in every one because um, it's not going to cup as much in the middle as it will on the ends. However, if you want to, you can go ahead and put in two. It's no big deal. And then you'll just repeat this process in the center panel or the other panels um, as you move down and then you have a nice solid level um, slat wall privacy fence and you'll be perfect and as long as you did it um, properly you'll this thing will should last forever there's no need really to stain the back of these things because it is pressure treated wood so they're not going to rot or deteriorate in a you know quick fashion but it's a very simple project I hope you learned something if you're still watching I do appreciate it if you go ahead and hit, hit that like and subscribe button I would appreciate that also and uh, leave some comments below thank you